<clears throat> Hello and good afternoon to all here. Could you all hear me? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, doctor. Okay, good. Okay, how how are, how are all of you? I hope that you all are good. Okay, I'm not I'm not very I'm not feeling very well. Okay, it's okay. So for this talk, yeah. Okay, for uh first of all, my name is Muhammad Nira Haruzwan. Yeah. So you call me uh, Dr. Nira, yeah. So uh I'm one of the uh lecturer in in the department of uh Science and Mathematics and Creative Multimedia in the School of Education, UTM. So my expertise uh, in educational technology, and this is uh, as a, uh, as educational technologies, we basically um, a part of our part and parcel of our job is to publish, right? So as those who involved in research, uh, for example, as uh, you all, okay, you all all the uh, uh, PhD student. So we all are involved in uh, publication, yeah. So that's why in this afternoon, <clears throat> I will share with you, okay, uh, how can you uh, find, okay, uh, the ideal, okay, home for your uh, for your works, yeah, for your research. So basically, it is important, yeah, for us who do the research, okay. If we are doing research, we must publish, right? Because we need to close the gap. For everyone embarking on research, right? As uh, as a journey, as their journey, as a research journey, the last part is the publication. So that's why um, I'm going to uh, <clears throat> to share this knowledge with all of you, right? So before this, I want you all to uh, to respond to my. Uh, okay, this is the outline for to uh, for uh, this afternoon. Okay, first of all, I will share with you the reason for publication, especially for graduate student, for research student in UTM. Why? Why you need to publish, right? Why you need to make a publication? The second one, so I will uh, also share with you how can you navigate, okay? How can you uh, maneuver or, you know, uh, move from one stage to another stage uh, in the publication uh, area, right? So you need to know the publication type very well because at the end of your, your studies, right, there are requirements okay, from the university for publication. If you do not get this knowledge or you don't have this knowledge, it, it is quite uh, difficult for you uh, later on. Yeah. So the last one, uh, how to select the journal. This is to close the loop, uh, meaning that, uh, you know, uh, at the end of your studies, so to you know to close everything not close maybe uh, uh to complete all right to complete your study okay uh, and then uh, the important thing how can you select the right journal okay and what factor to consider okay this is all covered in my uh talk today so if you have any questions you can uh, just raise your hand and ask me during my presentation i will not mind you to do this yeah so before that, I need you to uh, go to Slido. You can scan the QR code, right? Join me and uh, answer why we need to publish. All right? Can you do that? So hang on. I have already opened a Slido here. Okay, please. All of you here, we have around how many? 14, all right? So 14 uh, with us now. So can you uh, tell me why we need to publish as a, you know, as a graduate student or research student? I give you five minutes for you uh, to answer uh, this question in Slido. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Okay, Wafa, please. I see your name there. Yasmin. Yasmin, please answer. In Slido.
Okay, to share our point, all right? That is another input. Okay, what else? To fill the research gap. Okay. What else? To contribute to the knowledge, yeah? I, I think what you mean by to fill the research gap is to, to contribute uh, to the body of knowledge. For Viva, all right? Another one is for Viva, that's good. Okay, any else? To get our own copyrighted, okay, of our own work. Yeah, that's correct. So because, you know, uh, you need, in order for you to contribute to body of the knowledge, you need to publish. And when you publish, that knowledge is basically contributed by you, okay, in the form of publication by that journal. Can help in the public understanding of a research. All right. So this is some of the response. Uh, thank you very much for those who, uh, uh, you know, give the input uh, in this slide. All right. So I will continue. So for UTM, okay, this is basically the academic circular. Okay. Uh, did, uh, okay, uh, uh, semester four, yeah, 2020, uh, 21, right? So this is basically uh for you okay in order for you to uh, submit a thesis this is for research uh, student okay uh, for <clears throat> normally for master by research and phd yeah because phd all uh phd student uh, all are doing research right so uh, they need okay you can get this uh, academic circular in the uh, department of uh, 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 academic uh, ten, uh, vice chancellor of academic uh, website you can download this academic uh, circular also you can check the postgraduate research procedure eh, in the school of uh, uh, postgraduate uh, utm so page 31 to 32 so basically uh, there's a requirement for pub publication yeah uh, okay, I will list uh, it here, right? For master by research for intake 2009 to, to uh, 2009, 2010, all right? So basically, it will not applicable. So meaning if you enroll uh, in your master at this time, you don't have to publish, all right? However, for intake 2016 until, okay, until uh, 2020, some, until, until now, okay, there is a requirement for intake 2016, 2017, uh, for those uh, master by research candidate, you need to at least produce one accepted or published publication from journal article, conference, uh, proceeding or book chapter, okay, in order for you to submit your thesis, all right? For intake 2021, 2022, Okay, so you must at least produce one accepted or published publication from journal article, uh, the similar, the similar requirement with uh, uh, prior to this uh, uh, intake. Yeah. So for PhD, okay, if you are from intake 2009, okay, you need at least uh, to publish only one article from refereed journal, all right, for 2016 and 2017. At least you need to have one index article or two index conference proceeding, right? And the latest uh, one, okay, which I think applicable to all. I think most of you are latest uh, student, all right? For example, I can see it, uh, uh, Tava here, Zio, Zio, Zio here, Charlotte here, all right? You all are under this requirement, yeah? So you need at least to have one published article accepted in index in uh, in uh, in general index by web of science or you need to at least have two published article published in general index in scopus or era journal yeah uh, so this is uh, i will explain this uh, after this yeah so any questions before i move uh, move slide <clears throat> No, okay, yes. If you have question, you can just uh, write it in the chat. I will, uh, I will, uh, <clears throat> I will read the chat for you. Yeah, okay. Uh, 
Okay, so this is the key word that you need to remember. Okay, excellent in research. This is basically uh, ERA, E R A, excellent in research. Yeah. So we also have index. What is uh, mean by index? We have uh, W O S, WOS. Yeah. We have Scopus. We have uh, my site. We have web of science. What all of this uh, means? Okay, this is the thing that you need to understand. Okay, especially uh, for graduate stud, uh, student, eh? for PhD student, this is uh, the knowledge that you need to have. Yeah. So the first one we will go is index journal. When somebody talk about index journal, what does they mean? Right? What does it mean basically by index journal? Okay. So index journal or someone may call it as a bibliographic index or maybe bibliographic database is a list of journal okay organized by discipline yeah subject region or other factor this is all organized by somebody yeah? uh, either in academia or maybe in corporate sector right so journal index can be used to search for study on certain data and basically this journal must be reviewed what does that mean? Uh, if journal without review, uh, there is no reviewers, uh, that journal are not indexed. Okay. If index mean uh, the article must go into the reviewing process. Yeah? So what is reviewing process? So reviewing process, um, uh, they must have certain criteria to be fulfilled. So what is the criteria? Uh, first, the peer review. Peer review must have uh, 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 must be uh, credible, yeah, credible uh, academia. All right. So uh, appointed by the uh, journal, okay, and they are very uh, uh, strong ethics uh, uh, individual. All right, and they also have the policy. So how uh, uh, how uh, credible are, are the reviewing? Yeah. So they also have the assessment criteria before you can submit your article. And also they have their editorial board. Okay, this is uh, things that uh, index journal must, must have. Yeah, If they don't have this, they are not journal index or index journal. Yeah. So major journal index, okay, uh, that recognized by UTM. See, the, the red uh, one the red uh, text recognized by UTM. Okay, one is Scopus, right? I will show you later what is Scopus. Uh, second is excellent in research for Australia, own uh, short as an era. Okay, web of science. Okay, this is a uh, general impact factor. Okay, when we call as a general impact factor, we are referring to web of science. Yeah, and the last one is my site. My site is basically uh, an index. Uh, service provided by Malaysian Malaysia yeah provide by Malaysia right so these four uh, indexing service are recognized by UTM so we also have other uh, services but not recognized okay by UTM if you publish in this journal uh, so basically uh, you are not meet a requirement for newer student for new student, you are will you will not uh, cover uh, uh, your requirement are not covered. But if you are older uh, student, maybe two thousand nine or two thousand sixteen, uh, uh, UTM will accept eh, for uh, TC submission. Okay, we have Medline, PubMed, we have EBSCO, we have a lot. Yeah, DOJ, we have a lot. Uh, ProQuest, China, so a lot of these Google Scholar. All right, so if uh, you publish your article and that article uh, index only in Google Scholar, it will not recognize by UTM for current student, new student. Okay, new student only can publish in this for uh, indexing service only. Yeah. Also, how can we know uh, this uh, index? If you go to any journal, all right, when you go for their index tab, they will uh, show you all the index services see there's this for this journal they have a lot of indexes right so one of it is corpus and social science citation index this uh, uh journal or article uh is accepted by uh, utm okay scopus means scopus 
Social Science Citation Index, this is for Web of Science. So basically, this is very reputable journal, yeah, All right? Because they index in uh, Web of Science and Scopus, okay? So this is Scopus, okay? You can, uh, uh, you know, uh, type this scopus.com in your browser and you will go to your Scopus. Okay, this is Scopus uh, website. If you uh, 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 type any keyword, it will show you the relevant article, okay, relate to that uh, keyword, all right? So Scopus is very much uh, huge. It's a very huge database, okay? Because Scopus can cover uh, not a native language, okay? Uh, native language is English, but Scopus also can cover other than English, eh? as they are. Uh, 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 index uh, service for that journal, okay? Uh, Scopus is very uh, uh, relevant, okay? Most of uh, discipline are in Scopus, okay? All right, this is excellent in research for Australia or, or known as ERA. So this is uh, index service uh, provided by the government of uh, Australia, yeah? So you can type uh, the links and then you can download uh, the Excel file from this, and then you can get all the journal index in this, uh, uh, in ERA, all right? So the third one is Web of Science, which we call as the WUS, yeah? So this is uh, the highest, okay? The highest level of indexing, because in this, most of the articles are indexed in uh, either engineering, uh, social science, or humanities, okay? So they, they don't have uh, a huge database like Scopus, yeah? Scopus can cover many disciplines. But for uh, WOS, they are only co cover. Now they have four clusters. The, uh, uh, the fourth one, the new ones, they call as emerging, yeah? emerging source uh, citation or ESCI, okay? Last one, they have only three, which is uh, uh, science and uh, social science citation humanities and also uh, social science citation only they only have three and now they have they have four yeah okay we also have my site this is malaysian citation index uh, uh, for malaysia uh, index by malaysia by the government of malaysia uh, my malaysia higher uh, malaysia of ministry of higher education basically yeah so if you go to this my site uh, website and eh? and you will know uh, the journal and eh? the journal that uh, have already uh, indexed in this uh, journal and you can uh, submit to that particular journal and UTM will uh, you know uh, recognize that article as well yeah so what is the publication type uh, that basically you can you know uh, send for publication, especially in index journal. So index journal, they accept, uh, okay, um, we have a, a lot of publication time. Eh? We have journal, magazine, book, uh, bibliography, review, report, abstract, newspaper, case, or uh, thesis, pro confirm proceeding, and article. So most uh, index uh, services, they only, uh, you know, uh, uh, accept uh, article format for journal. All right for book book also uh some of uh, uh the services will be uh index eh? uh, book chapter mostly book chapter they are indexed for, for example springer book chapter right they all index in scopus eh? uh, we also have review if your article are uh, review based uh, they also can accept yeah but uh, all uh, review article uh they are not uh, basically uh, uh an actual data involved it's only from your literature review okay that's why for those who are running or for those who are performing a systematic literature review you can uh, you can create this type of uh, article eh, for review we also have report but mostly a uh, report only for uh, some uh, tasks and uh, this is not uh, index we have extract for article you must have extract for most uh, journal subscription model because we do have two model for journal, one is subscription and one for one is open access. For subscription, they only allow you abstract. Okay, you can only read the abstract. 
if you want to get that article, you can either have to access uh, uh, library uh, and that library must subscribe to the journal and then you can download the article. Otherwise, you have to pay for that article. All right. You have to pay the article, then you can download the article and read it. All right. For open access, uh, that journal allow okay, user to download the article. All right. So for open access, I will cover this later on. Yeah. Okay, we also have conference proceeding. What this mean by proceeding? So for those who uh, submit article in conference, your article is called proceeding, conference proceeding. They are not called journal article, okay? Unless that conference send your article to selected journal, all right? So you will have, uh, you have, you have to bear the process of review of that journal. Okay, sometime when you send your article to this particular uh, conference, that conference will accept and publish in proceeding and that proceeding can either be uh, indexed in Scopus or maybe uh, it will only uh, recorded in ISBN. If in ISBN, it will not uh, index, eh? it, it will be as a proceeding only, right? So, uh, last is article. Yeah? So it can be general article or also it can be a proceeding article. Right. So this is all on uh, the uh, green tick is uh, indexed in database. Okay. Any question before I go on? <clears throat> okay. We do have question in chat. Okay. From Lee. Doctor, I have a question. If the paper had been accepted by Scopus in that journal, but not indexed by Scopus, is it normal? Okay, I will, uh, you know, uh, touch this let, uh, later on uh, also, eh, because you have uh, you have already uh, give this uh, check. So before you want to uh, submit to uh, any journal, okay, make sure you check that journal, right? Sometimes that journal, they are discontinued. What does this mean? In Scopus uh, website, when you put uh, the ISN for that particular journal, okay, you will see that journal is listed in uh, Scopus. However, for this year, for example, 2024, it's been discontinued. If been discontinued, meaning they are not longer, the article, eh, all articles are, not long, are no longer indexed in Scopus. And if that happened, UTM will not recognize. Okay, so I will also uh, demo to you how can you check, okay, that article so that you will not uh, face this problem anymore, like Lee, yeah, like the question from Lee. Okay, all right, next. Okay, proceeding is the term, uh, okay, what does mean by proceeding? Proceeding is the term used to describe a publication which contain paper presented at a seminar, conference, or congress, okay? This is only uh, applicable uh, to conference, okay? Book or book chapter is basically an academic book with ISBN, okay? So uh, sometimes that chapter in book uh, uh, index in Scopus as well, right? So review is basically an uh, article that you, uh, uh, academic article, so which is basically, um, for, uh, concerning the uh, chapter two okay, of your PhD. So if you do a literature review, so you can submit your article review here. So that's why I always, always uh, advise uh, for PhD student, also my PhD student here. I can see uh, my PhD student here, uh, Charlotte here, all right? Uh, Cho uh, uh, <clears throat> Zio here. I can also uh, see uh, Tava, eh, Jaya here. So please run, uh, Yasmin here also, all right, okay. Please run um, for chapter two, please do the systematic literature review, okay, well, uh, SLR, okay. So if you do SLR, and then you, you will get conclusion, okay. Uh, for example, if you want to, if you do uh, NAR, okay, augmented reality uh, technology, for example, this is for uh, example, eh? or maybe you do VR, okay, VR technology. Uh, but you, okay, you haven't really uh, ensure or sure uh, the learning strategy that uh, compatible uh, with VR technology because not all uh, learning technology are compatible with uh, certain technology. So to, to know that, you need to do a literature review. So if you do normal literature review, 
it will take time. So that's why you have to do SLR. So it will help you uh, to expedite your analysis. So when you do that, you can know, uh, you will have conclusion. Okay, either, okay, this particular learning strategy is basically compatible to uh, VR technology. And then when, <clears throat> when okay, uh, when examiner or somebody uh, asks you, you have confidence, eh? you have confidence to answer that. Uh, this is basically uh, the compatible learning strategy. And when people ask why, because, uh, because the literature said, because I have done SLR from a uh, period of 2015 to uh, 2023, uh, most researcher from the literature uh, acknowledge this uh, learning strategy as the compatible uh, learning strategy for VR. All right. So if you do that, you if you do don't uh, if you don't do that, uh, you don't have a conclusion or confident. Okay, uh, and uh, somebody else might you know uh, can debate that. Okay, and it will uh, definitely uh, will have impact in your uh, study. Okay, all right. <clears throat> so next, a uh, type of journal. Okay, first uh, priority. Uh, please aim for index journal. When we talk about index journal, we mean uh, we mean by Scopus or Web of Science. Okay, when when somebody eh, in academia. Uh, doesn't mean uh, from UTM or anywhere, anywhere. Uh, academia said index journal, it means Scopus or Web of Science. Okay. Uh, these two. Okay. Uh, Web of Science is now known as Clav Clavariat. Yeah. Uh, last time Web of Science, now uh, it's handled by Clavariat. Yeah. So these two is, you know, um, acceptable in the, uh, is two uh, main uh, database. Yeah. For academia, okay. We also have uh, the directory of open access journal (DOAG). This is not similar to open access. All right, directory of open access journal is basically a database. Uh, is a common creative database. If if you know what is what uh, I mean, common uh, creative database is basically a free eh, database. However, um. Some of journal in this journal are questionable in terms of the, re the review process. That's why uh, some organization or some university will not uh, accept this uh, journal type of journal. Yeah. So we also have other journal non-index. So if uh, if non-index is very very low. Yeah? So why? Because non-index that article will never be reviewed. For article uh, that not review is very low quality okay you don't uh you know aim for this journal okay because uh for phd student we want feedback and that feedback must be credible uh that's why we aim for a high uh reputable journal because uh, they they have their expert from around the world so when uh the same uh academics academia read your article they will give you, you the feedback so you will get the knowledge and you can make an improvement on your thesis and this will in return help you okay for your thesis so it help you okay by uh, giving you input uh, whether you do the correct uh, method or correct analysis etc etc or maybe your um, discussion is not critical enough right so you need to look at other perspective. This is all can be uh, can be you can get this from uh, sending your article uh, your uh, your works in reputable journal, which is uh, either uh, indexed by Woos or Scopus, right? So and the last uh, alternative is conference proceeding. And if you want to send, okay, why we uh, need to uh, submit to conference, okay. Uh, okay, when you do your uh, uh, research, okay, uh, sometimes uh, you do work in progress, meaning that work is not uh, finished yet, not complete yet. Uh, you want to report your work in progress. So, journal will not accept this because journals only accept with data, all right? So, conference can accept this. So, you can share your work, your work in progress, but make sure uh, you share uh information that can be shared eh? you can don't share conceptual framework of your research eh? maybe that is uh, uh that very sensitive to you because we don't want other people 
uh, you know, to copy your construction framework uh, without addressing you. So it's very, very dangerous. Okay, when you uh, share in the conference your theoretical framework or conceptual framework, uh, and you haven't finished yet your PhD, other people, uh, maybe uh, they like the conceptual framework and they replicate the same conceptual framework and they, pu they publish first and then they uh, complete the PhD first. Okay, uh, it's very dangerous. Okay, if you want to share uh, your work okay, in conference, uh, make sure first, uh, if relate to your product, make sure it's copyrighted. The product must be copyrighted. Or uh, if you want to share, you can share maybe uh some of your work uh, maybe um how is your preliminary work maybe you before you do that work you do some preliminary work maybe you interview first and then you get the input and then that can be shared in conference because you want to get feedback from other academia then they can give that your uh, input and then can they, you can use that input for your preliminary uh investigation which is very crucial for chapter one all right so, and then you can also maybe uh, uh, send your last, okay, your last uh, uh, con uh, article in conference where you you waiting for, uh, for Viva. Okay, maybe uh, you can uh, submit uh, your framework, okay, your, after you have uh, developed, formulated the framework from your PhD uh, data, and then you want to get feedback from uh, the community, uh, the academic community, you can send that to conference. So you will get, uh, you know, feedback from that. So uh, that is basically uh, very, very relevant to conference proceeding, right? Okay. So any questions before I proceed? If you have any question, you can ask, right? All right, so next, Okay, what factor to consider? All right. First, okay, uh, in order for your article, because uh, once you have finished, uh, for example, analysis uh, your data, and then you start uh, want to publish your first uh, data, uh, analysis of data that you have already achieved uh, in journal. Okay, some journal, they, uh, they, they accept data. Uh, uh, for example, if you have four research questions, you, uh, you want to publish the first two uh, research questions, uh, because you have already done the analysis for two research questions, and then some uh, journal, they accept that, okay? So when you want to send your article, okay, uh, you need to make sure that journal imp and scope is rel uh, in in your area, uh, meaning if you do some, for example, VR, virtual reality, okay? Make sure that journal, okay, that journal scope has VR, okay? Uh, if you send, for example, very general journal that doesn't have any related to VR, maybe it's only IT, maybe uh, system, okay? They are looking into different technology. Uh, your article might might be rejected, okay? So therefore, in order for the article to be accepted, make sure the aim and scope of journal is matched with article, right? The second one, the author guideline, make sure that uh, journal has a very clear author guideline. Okay, the template, the article template. Okay, what you need to follow, okay, etc. etc. How about the reference? They do uh, use the APA uh, citation, etc. etc. You need to know uh, to know this eh, from the journal. And the time to publish. So <clears throat> some uh, journal, okay, you need to compete with uh many people around the world okay for example some journal they only have two twice publication in one year maybe at the uh maybe in uh june okay they have one issue okay one issue and then december another the second issue okay for this type of journal it's very hard for you uh for your article to be accepted because you have very uh high competi uh, competition Okay, because for one issue, only 10 to 12 articles can be published, right? So if they general only have, you know, two issue in one year, so the competition, uh, the, uh, the acceptance rate is very, very high. So that's why, uh, that's why you can also check uh, any particular journal 
uh, if they the time of uh, to publish is short and they have a lot of issue okay maybe six issue per year or, or maybe eight okay so if they have more uh, issue to publish your <coughs> uh probability uh, your article to be accepted is high right so uh, uh this uh, this bring me to my uh, to my uh, thought uh, uh bring me to my next uh, point okay which is uh, the acceptance rate uh so time to publish is uh, very much close to uh, very much relate to the acceptance rate okay <coughs> some journal reputable journal they have 10% of acceptance rate Okay, very small. Okay, if very small, uh, it's highly, highly uh, chances for your article to be rejected is high, right? Because the acceptance rate is very low, 10%. Okay, if uh, the high, uh, the acceptance rate is uh, big, okay, if the acceptance rate is too big, okay, uh, uh, it will compromise with the quality, with the quality of the reviewer, all right? So you you should not look into uh, uh, too big or a certain rate or too small. Maybe medium, but maybe twenty five percent of uh, or twenty uh, or thirty uh, acceptance rate is uh, acceptable, right? So a uh, journal with low acceptance rate basically a very very reputable because everybody want to publish in that journal. Okay, you need to compete. You need to make sure your work is top on very uh very high quality all right very uh new okay very original if your work is not is low contribution okay you have a very small contribution you uh the chances of uh, your article to be uh, rejected rejected is very high in this journal all right so do you have any question no uh, i will uh next move next yeah Okay, uh, and then uh, you also can, you know, uh, uh, aim, okay, uh, to publish your article in general impact factor. Uh, if someone, uh, you know, um, uh, mentioning general impact factor, they are referring to the web of science index, the Woos index. Okay, only web of science, huh? uh, now owned by Cla Clarivate Analytic, uh, offer. A feature called general impact factor all right scopus doesn't have this all right uh, the rest doesn't have this only web of science that have impact factor what does the impact factor mean anyone anyone here can answer uh, my questions okay i will call uh, some student here okay all right okay make sure you are ready uh okay which one i uh, okay uh, the phd one okay i will ask the phd one okay yizo yizo hello sir <laughs> yizo can you open uh your video so that I can oh, see you. I'm sorry, my connection is not very good. Oh, okay, it's okay. So what is general impact factor? Uh, impact factor uh, zero. Well, uh, your zero. Uh, factor. Do you have any idea what is impact factor? Sorry. Do you have any idea what impact factor mean? Uh, yeah, I know, I know. Impact. Okay, what is it? Factor. Yeah. What is it? Uh, I I think it's the uh it's um it's a thing uh which which can indicate quality journals articles quality. I think. All right. Okay. Thank you. So okay. Thank you, Zio. Thank you very much for answer. Oh, okay. There is a uh, one chat, one response in the chat. Uh, by Lee. So the level and quality of the journal uh, is uh, is in in its area is usually have four part uh, and the top journal uh, uh, in the first quarter. Okay, all right. Not four part is uh, we call it as a quartile. Quartile, yeah. So quartile. Okay, the journal uh, 
uh, impact factor is mostly uh, categorized by quartile. Okay, you will have a uh, uh, first quartile, second quartile, third quartile, and fourth quartile. Okay, you have uh, Q1 is first uh, quartile. You have Q2, uh, Q3, and Q4. Okay, it means how rigorous that journal is eh? when you know reviewing your article and how uh, uh, you know uh, how many uh, you know uh, uh, other article you know cite your work okay this is a uh, mean of impact factor i will uh, show you in the next slide okay this is the impact factor so impact factor okay basically uh rank okay by quartile ranking okay uh, they are categorized by quartile rankings okay they are basically four quartile q1 so q1 the uh the percentage is from zero to 25 percent okay this is a very high rank journal okay if, if you publish in this uh quartile okay you will have a very good feedback from your works and to get into this is not very easy okay your work must be very very substantial all right and contribution from your works uh, uh the reviewer can see it and they can give the feedback to you all right uh the second quartile from 25 to 50 the third quartile is 50 to 75 and the last one 75 above okay uh, this is the lowest quartile uh, rose the rank uh uh for impact factor journal eh? all right so okay this is impact factor journal uh collection eh? we call it as a core collection so we uh before this we only have three uh core collections okay we have the science citation index uh expanded okay scie all right total journal and uh, 9481 uh, total journals Okay, we also have social science citation index, which uh, we call as a SSCI. Okay, this is 3,551 uh, uh, total journals. And the last one is art and humanities, humanities yeah? uh, citation index, EHCI. Okay, uh, this is maybe for, uh, if you are from TESOL, okay, TESOL, uh, academic, Islam, uh, academic, uh, Islamic, uh, uh, academic, or maybe you are from uh, Malay language, uh, etc., etc. You can submit your article uh, in this core collection. Yeah. So there are only uh, one thousand and eight hundred twenty-five. Very small journal. Okay. And you need to compete with many people if you are from Tesla. So that's why uh, sometimes uh, for niche uh, journal. Okay. We call this as a niche because you have very small journal cover. Okay. Niche. So if it, it is very hard for you to publish your article. You might need to consider the multidisciplinary uh, article uh, journal, yeah. So where it can uh, accept uh, your work as well. So, however, if you go for multidisciplinary uh, uh, journal, you might uh, get uh, because sometimes you want feedback from the expert, the really expert in that area. Okay, maybe you know that uh, uh, expert and that expert. Uh, you know, have uh, their name in the this journal, and you want to get their uh, feedback. So, so when you submit that to that journal, but that journal basically have limitation. Okay? They, they they cannot uh, accept all article. So that's why sometimes the competition is very uh, high. Yeah? So the now the the newest okay the newest core collection uh, introduced by Clarivate Analytic, uh, uh, Web of Science. They call it as an emerging source citation index (ESCI). Okay, ESCI uh, have many uh, uh, journal, which is uh, eight thousand three uh, three hundred and thirty-two total journal. Okay, this is basically a new core collection. And remember, for those who submit to this article, uh, these core collections is uh, uh, do not have. The impact factor you only uh you only uh, index in um woos, but you are you don't have impact factor the only uh calculation that have impact factor is uh scie ssci and ahci only 
all right so now how can i will demo to you how can you check this yeah you can check this okay okay before i demo it we go to the next slide what else you need to know okay uh the readership yeah the target audience so so you also uh you can you know simply check uh the journal okay you can ask maybe your supervisor or maybe other lecturers or maybe your friends do they have heard this journal okay if they do uh if no they know that journal so basically that journal is okay all right so some journal they call as a multidisciplinary journal yeah they are not very niche uh, if you are uh, uh, Tesla, maybe you want uh, to have expert in language only, eh? in linguistic. So multidisciplinary journal is not for you, right? So you need to find a very niche journal for that particular uh, feedback, right? Some of that, they have specialty journal, only special, uh, uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> discipline, okay? Uh, is covered to, to that journal, okay? And also you can also check how popular is that journal among your peers okay or maybe among the academia you can ask okay if they know that uh, journal uh, that journal must be very popular all right so there is a checklist here you can uh, uh you know you can answer it whether yes or no if yes uh, that journal is uh, is basically right for you all right so if if there is a many no answer maybe you have to uh, consider other journal right Okay, this is uh, another tool for you to search uh, for uh, the journal. We call it as Schemago Generang SDR. Uh, you can enter the ISN here. Okay, so SDR basically uh, uh, is uh, is a, a platform or tool uh, where you can uh, check uh, that this journal. Uh, this is a free, a free uh, accessible. For you however if it, it's not very comprehensive like uh jcr or web of science yeah because web, web of science you need to subscribe basically you only can you know uh, for this this one yeah sorry okay. uh, this one only can be accessed in the library yeah, the university will uh, need to subscribe all right so if you don't have this subscription okay uh it's hard for you to uh, to use the services okay so for free services you can use uh, the sgr this one eh? sgr but sgr is not very comprehensive compared to the claviriate yeah okay we also can use the elsevier eh? journal finder but elsevier only cover the elsevier journal all right so mostly elsevier is corpus okay so uh, it also will not cover and uh, all journal, okay, we only cover uh, journal under Elsevier, right? This is the one that I, uh, I see, JCR, the Journal Citation Report. This is very much, this is very, very, very good. However, if you want to use JCR, so basically you can use it uh, under the library yeah, for, for in the university because uh, the library need to subscribe to the JCR and then the student can use it, yeah, because you have to pay eh, to pay for using their services. Okay, uh, and the only yeah uh, uh, one that is available okay widely okay most students uh, know this all right. If you don't know this, I think you have to uh, reconsider it. Uh, it is a Google Scholar. Eh? So do you know what is Google Scholar? Okay, Google Scholar is uh, services provided by Google. Eh, for academic uh, article so this is the faster way for you to see uh, which are uh, top journal 100 journal however if you're using google scholar it will not very um, comprehensive okay other than uh, the jcr all right so you might not get the impact factor okay you only have uh, rank the general rank in a sp specific area and that rank is basically uh, ran by the Google Scholar matrix is uh, matrix by Google Scholar, which some uh, university will not uh, recognize. Eh? Okay, so I also put a few uh, link. Okay, that you can uh, check later. Okay, how to select a journal as well as what is open access. Open access is different uh, with directory of open access journal. Yeah, so uh, mostly journal have two model. Okay, 
the traditional one we call as a subscription model so if you go for subscription model your article when you submit article uh, you you uh, the journal will not ask you to pay meaning that uh, your article is free however uh, the copyright of your article is transferred to that journal okay and that journal can put your article in their database and Whoever want to download that your article, they have to pay to that journal. So meaning that that journal will get the money, not you. Okay, that is uh, the traditional one we call as a subscription model. You can submit to that journal, and that journal will uh, will uh, 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 your article cannot be read, eh? cannot be read. Uh, only can be read by subscription. Whereas in open access, you have to pay. Okay, uh, the journal will ask you to pay for your article because your article will can be public. Yeah, they are public. Everybody can read your article. Okay, so uh, without uh, the journal have to without uh, the user have to pay to that journal. Okay, that uh, your article is open to public. Okay, uh, why this is uh, important? Okay, for subscription. Uh, or traditional model, which which is subscription model, okay. Uh, your article might not get a visibility. What do mean? Uh, that, what I mean by visibility, it will get less visibility by other people because people cannot read your article. They only can read the article if they pay or they get it from the library. Okay, which is uh, very small because some uh, as academia we need citation. We need people to read our uh, you know our article and then they can give feedback and they can cite our work you know and then we can know where is uh, our work is contribute to okay so we need citation that's why uh, we have H index later on okay by uh, uh, for academia if you publish we get H index okay where where how many people uh, cite you right for open access you will get uh, much more visibility because why because people can read your art uh, it will be beneficial eh? not only for you or maybe for your organize organization that pay your your research too eh? so it will also help uh, the ministry because uh, your uh, your findings can be read by other people and they can give you feedback okay and if you want, if you choose this you have to pay and the uh, uh, the rate is based on the APC. We, they call it as an article processing charge APC, and each journal have different APC. Uh, APC. Uh, make sure you have you have uh, money to pay. Okay. Uh, mostly uh, from uh, funding from government funding. Uh, basically, for research, any research from government funding, they have uh, um, fund. Yeah, for article uh, to be published uh, as open access okay so if you don't have uh, this type of uh, fund you can opt to the first uh, model which is subscription model eh? i will uh, show you this later as well all right so okay do you have any questions before i uh, demo this okay all right so now the last part before we uh, we uh, before uh, before I end this session, okay, you can go to library, PSZ. I just type PSZ UTM here in my browser, and then uh, click the library. Okay, so you can go to the e resources here, online database, uh, e journal and e books. Just click this. Make sure you uh, log in. Okay, you need to log in. So once you log in, see you can read it. This service is provided by uh, UTM library user. Okay, all activities are monitored. Okay, you cannot abuse. Okay, what does it mean by abuse? You cannot download uh, too many copy. If you only download one, it's okay. You cannot download many 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 copy because that article will be uh, paid for. Uh, yeah, the library will pay it. Okay, although it's not you pay it, the library pay it using your uh, fee. Yeah? When you pay fee, is a part of the uh, uh, <coughs> part of the payment as well, basically. Yeah? So when you go here, there is a, a database here. Okay, you can find it. Okay, so basically we have SCM database, we have Emerald, IEEE, we have Chester. Okay, we have uh, ProQuest, ScienceDirect, we have Scopus, Springer, and Web of Science here. Right. 
So if you go to Web of Science, click here. All right. So, and you can go in this uh, here, product, you can click product, tap, eh? oh, sorry, uh, the, the tap product here. You can go for the general citation report. Click general citation report. Okay. For example, okay, I type uh, any general name. For example, education and information technology, right? Okay. Okay, hang on. Maybe I have to get the education and information technology. Okay, all right. Wrong. Okay, I have to write it like this. Educations and information technologies. Okay, not technology, technologies. Okay, and then you see there's a journal here. You can click this, uh, the link. Okay, when you click, you will have the general citation report. Okay, you will see this is uh, index in the calculations, the social science citation uh, index, the SSCI, okay, under educational and educational research. Okay, all right. So you can see uh, the publisher is Springer and uh, from United States, US, and they have six issues per year. Okay, so meaning uh, you need to compete, yeah. Six issue is not very uh, high, yeah. Okay, we can see the general performance. Okay, uh, see the last, okay, you can see uh, uh, the performance for uh, 2020 is very high, yeah? all right? And you also can see uh, how many articles, okay, have been cited, okay, from this uh, journal. And this is basically an open access, if you have this symbol, meaning that you can download this uh freely okay the rest is a uh, subscription right so and then you can see the impact factor yeah the impact factor of the journal so if you uh go uh below so the this journal is in q1 right so this journal is q1 and how is the impact factor uh the impact factor is um Wait, where is the impact factor? 5.3, right? So this journal have 5.3 uh, impact factor, okay? Okay, you can see also uh, the uh, previous, right? So previous uh, uh, CI, all right? Last time, this journal in Q2, in 2020, then it moved to Q1, right? Okay, so do you have any question? Okay, I will give you another uh, example of journal, okay, that have been discontinued from Scopus, okay? Okay, now we go to Scopus journal. So the latest one is migration letter, it's general known as migration letter. Uh, many uh, uh, student, PhD student, that have sent their article in that journal, migration letter, uh, uh, they are all upset. Because why? Because that journal, the article are not being recognized anymore because that journal has been discontinued from uh, Scopus. So, right? So maybe we type uh, the migration letter. This is one of the journal. Okay.
Oh, no, no. I think I need to uh, to get the migration letter. My migration letter ISN. So we get the uh, okay in here. See, it saying that uh, you've been uh, indexed by Scopus. If you go to this particular website, general website, don't be fooled. Okay. For example, you go here. So this is many many patients didn't have uh, faced this type of problem. So when they go to this particular website of the journal, oh, it's indexed by Scopus. Okay, wow, wow, wow. And then they submit to this journal, and basically. This journal is basically is not Scopus, it's discontinued. Okay. If you want to check it, okay, you go to this uh journal and then copy this journal ISN. Just copy, right? Copy here, and then go to Scopus uh website. Okay, search by ISN. Okay, this is the ISN and paste. Search. So that you have migration letter here and you can click. Okay, now, okay, this journal has been back. Okay, from 2000, uh, this journal has been uh, Scopus now. Okay, last time it's discontinued and now it's back to, uh, now uh, it's okay, now good. You can uh, submit to this, uh, 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 journal another journal okay uh, uh emerging uh, technology okay uh, in the, uh i jet okay this one this one also has been discontinued right check first okay make sure uh, in scopus okay see the multi the migration letter last time discontinued but now uh, it already been uh, continued back eh to the scopus and then you can submit okay this one they are not no longer in uh scopus okay okay we check check first get their isn See, the coverage has been discontinued. So if you see this one, okay, coverage discontinued in Scopus, meaning that in 2024, 2024, this journal is no longer Scopus. But if the article is published before 2024, that article is covered in Scopus. All right. So be careful. Okay, make sure you check first, either in Scopus as well as in the web of science here this one yeah all right so any questions before i end this session the last question uh open to the floor if you have any questions all right if not uh i thank for everyone who you know uh for attending to my talk okay we'll we we'll see you uh again later yeah Right, thank you very much. Thank you, doctor. Thank you, bye, see you again.